We're going to create our Google Gmail account right now. If you go to google.com and hit the Gmail button link up here, it will send you if you have a slow internet account like I do, slowly it will send you to Google. And you can either sign in, but since you don't have an account that wouldn't make sense, or sign up, which would make more sense, and then if you had a slow satellite connection like I do, you would wait like this again. And it would send you to a Get Started with Gmail page. I've already filled this stuff in, so it will go in automatically. I'd put in my first name, and I'm going to create the account Steve Miller Sucks. Uh, unfortunately, I've already created that account before. I can't use that name again. So I'll call this Steve Miller Sucks. And that's five views. And I can hit Check Availability, but I don't imagine that one's been used. Uh, let's check it anyway. And we'll wait a few seconds while Google does its thing. And it will tell us that it's available. Okay, the password. You make up your own password. Make sure you use numbers and letters. Make sure it's something you can remember. And make sure you type the same thing in twice, or it will send you back later to do it again. Remember me on this computer? I think not, because I have a different Google account and I don't want that mixed up. You can do that or not. Enable web history, you can do it or not. There's reasons for it and against it. Uh, what was your first, uh, you choose a question. I chose the question, what was your first teacher's name? The answer I chose was Socrates, and I gave this as my secondary email. This is a nonsense email. You should put in your real email. I'm putting in a nonsense email because I will delete this account as soon as I've done this tutorial. Um, but put in your real email address because in case there's a problem with this Gmail address at some time, they won't be able to get in touch with you to tell you that because there will be a problem with the account. So we put in your regular email so they can get in touch with you if there's a problem with this email. And then down here you would type this word. It'll be a different one every time. It's just a little security thing for Google, so machines and, and hackers can't come in here and create thousands of Gmail accounts in seconds. It has to be an actual human eye that reads this. This can't be read by a program. And then you type that in. And read the terms of service. I suggest you actually read them. I won't go through them now. I have read them. I accept them. It says something about taking your firstborn. And since I don't have kids, it doesn't mean anything to me. And if you do, it still doesn't mean anything to me because, hell, it's your kids. Um, okay, so I'm accepting this. And they don't really take your kids. Well, they do, but only in a metaphorical way. So as we wait for this satellite to bring us to the next page, I sincerely hope you don't have to have a satellite account or a dial-up. Okay, it says congratulations, we've created the account. Okay, I'm ready, show me my account. Whammo! Shazam! Shaslois! Molasses am. And there you have it. There's your account, and there's your first email. What's it say? It's some nonsense from Gmail. Look at that. That's great. Now you've seen how to do it. There will be other tutorials about how to. Uh, use the account. Right now I'm going to go to settings and show you how to delete an account should you choose to do it at some time. You can go to this page and then click on accounts. Oops. And go to the bottom. Google Account Settings, you'd click on that, brings you to another page, 
and you would click on My Services, Close Account and Delete All Services and Info Associated with it. Yes, I want to get rid of that, I want to get rid of that, and I would type in my password. Yes, I want to delete my account, and yes, I have to tell them this. I acknowledge that I am still responsible for any charges incurred due to any pending financial transactions. Hopefully you don't have any, or you can kiss your firstborn goodbye. And then we hit delete Google account. And it's been nothing but a few minutes, and a few billion electrons, and the account is deleted. Uh, I hope you never have to do that. You probably won't. Anyway, uh, the other tutorials will follow. And there's that great tutorial that I suggest you take from Google itself that's listed on one of the other tutorials that I've given. Check out the uh, other ones.